In West Philadelphia, born and raised. On the camera is where I spend most of my days. See, I not only give you guys good content with boxing talk and all that, but you get bars too. Just thought, thought I'd throw that in for extra, you know. Why not? Yo, I just checked out the uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air 30th year reunion, if you could believe that. Premiered 1990, was on the air for six seasons. Back then, six seasons meant six years. Nowadays, they could do six seasons in like two years. But uh, yeah, I still remember the first episode. And uh, Will Smith really knows how to put on, you know, he makes good movies. And I thought this, um, this reunion was well done. It started off showing the... Uh, the last episode of The Fresh Prince where he turns off the lights and then it starts with him turning on the lights and the cast comes in, they all greet each other and hug each other. You know, they were really happy to see each other. You know, you could tell they were felt like they were a real family. And um, they talk about their various stories. They show, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, I'm telling pretty much everything that happened. So you might want to turn away if you don't want to hear it. Uh, it was on HBO Max. so. Had to download that and check that out. But um, anyway, they were talking about their uh, auditioning. They showed uh, Alfonso Ribeiro's audition tape. You know, they showed uh, Karen Parsons who played Hillary. Uh, um, Alfonso Ribeiro played Carlton, of course. Uh, they showed Will Smith. Oh, well, they didn't show Will Smith's audition. He just told a story about um, how it all happened when he went to... Quincy Jones house and they he said Quincy seemed like he had been sipping on something but he had to audition in front of everybody in the living room and he had to get it get his mind right to go do it but and they were on tour with uh his DJ DJ Jazzy Jeff at the time and then he tells Jazz I guess while they're on tour guess what we got a show and he's like we got a show wow but um it was great to see everybody together you know they had a tribute for James Avery who played Uncle Phil and they all started to tear up and get emotional and that was touching, you know. Um, they had Tatiana Ali was there. Um, I forget the guy who plays the butler, Jeffrey. Is his name Jeff in real life? Uh, he was there, the second Aunt Viv. And surprised to say, the original Aunt Viv was there, Janet Hubert or Hubbard, I think it's Hubert, and um, her and Will had a long, long talk. They hugged it out, you know, they apologized. She explained how she was going through an abusive marriage at the time and was pregnant. And he said, hey, I was like, I was 21 years old. And um, he said something about fearing, fearing things or something, but they made up and it, it, you could tell it was heartfelt. There was no acting there. I mean, they embraced each other for a long time. They were just hugging and getting it all out and uh, it was pretty deep, you know. I I was, when I saw on the uh, advertisement that she was gonna be on it, that's what made me say, hey, I gotta check this out because I know, I know she been saying a lot of crazy stuff about Will Smith on uh, the internet. So I wanted to see how this went. And um, she didn't go out there with the rest of the cast or did she at the end, I'm trying to remember it. Anyway, at first she was out, I think she went out there with the cast later on, but originally it was just her and um, Will Smith talking it out and they both apologized, like I said, and it was just, um, it was pretty cool. They were playing the theme to the show on the piano and it was, uh, it was pretty um, emotional. And like I said, everybody got all teared up and choked up when they were watching the tribute to James Avery. Um, and they were talking about something funny. Will Smith was talking about how when he first started acting, he would memorize everybody's lines. And I even noticed it back then while somebody was saying their lines, he'd be moving his mouth, saying it with them so he'd know where to come in. And he said one day, uh, Karen Parsons, who played Hillary Banks, said, would you stop it? <laughs> like she was sick of him uh, moving his lips and stuff. And I remember Jimmy Walker used to do that on Good Times, who played J.J., <laughs> He would move his lips while other people were talking. I'm like, wow, they memorized the whole lines. But Will said he really wanted to impress James Avery because he was a theatrical actor, 
I even saw James Avery play a judge back on the TV show Dallas, if you guys remember that, my favorite show of all time. But um, he said he really wanted to impress James Avery, so uh, like he got mad at something and while they were filming some emotional scene about his dad not loving him or something and he started to cry, you know, that was part of the, the show. And uh, it was his first time feeling like he really showed that he could act. And he said, when um, James Avery playing Uncle Phil hugged him, he whispered in, and he whispered in Will's ear, now that's acting. And so he knew he could uh, do this at that point. He knew he had just graduated to be a successful actor. And I was just, after that, uh, the pursuit of happiness just happened to be on. And I thought, man, he should, him and his son, Jaden, should have won all kind of awards for that. I mean, to me, that's Will Smith's best, best movie. I'd say probably Hitch, number two. But if you see his growth from The Fresh Prince to The Pursuit of Happiness, I mean, he should have got all kind of awards for that. I mean, that's it's hard not to get emotional watching that movie. Everybody did a great job in that movie. I mean, anytime I see it's on, I have to watch it, even though I got it on a DVD. But um, is there anything I'm forgetting about the uh, the reunion? Let's see. Jazz was there. And he was talking about how they uh, would throw him out. You know, I guess they filmed a lot of takes throwing him out of the house. And he said anytime it, it was a, he was wearing a certain shirt, the audience would know oh, he's about to get thrown out. So <laughs> I had never even noticed that. Every time he got thrown out, he's wearing a certain shirt. I was like, that's news to me. But uh, let's see. What, uh, am I forgetting anything? Um, let's see. Oh, the uh, the little boy that came on later later on, he came out. And I was like, who's this guy? I thought it was some R&B singer or something. That was the little boy uh, all grown up now. And... Uh, yeah, he, I could tell it was him, you know. I don't know if he's still acting or not. Um, did you guys see it? If so, what did you think? I thought it was done perfectly, and, um, you know, it was real emotional. And uh, I thought it was a classy touch of will to bring in Janet Hubert. I thought that was real cool and manly of him to squash their beef and air it out publicly, you know. So, um you could just see as time goes on, people want to squash their beefs and all that and just move on and hug it out. And uh, it was all love. And uh, it was good to see this second Aunt Viv there. She, her hair is all gray now. I forget her name in real life. Tatiana Ali was there. Um, yeah. I, I can't think of anything I'm missing. Um, let's see. Usually when I stop filming, then I say, oh, yeah, I should have said this and that. Well, if I'm forgetting anything, I'll make a part two. It was the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air 30th year reunion. And um, like I said, it came out in 1990. It was on the air for six years, six seasons. I believe they had 150 episodes. And uh, real funny show. Anyway, this is the J. Roos Theory. Beat down the like button, comment, share, subscribe, and be fearless.